The concentration on uh, the use, determining the use or analyzing the use of, of gyroscopes has been in reference to the stable stability. In other words, the gyro will stay straight up. Then the, the plane will go around that or it'll go this way. If it's all gimbal just right, you know, tub, double gimbals, this doesn't have it in it. Then you, the plane will be moving all around, but they want this thing to stay in that position. If it starts to precess like this, then they, they're going to want that to be caged. And that's what you used to do in the early days of aviation. You caged the gyro, and really what you did was put it straight up again. But that's been the concentration. And as a result of that, they don't want this thing to move. The mental bent on gyros has been stability. Now, what we've done is departed from that, and we like instability. So we like fussing with the precession and getting one form of, power, of motion and power out of that, all the way to this guided type of propulsion. And then we also uh, have learned that you, if you bend the spin plane by powering the precession, in other words, now you got precession. So now you, you were having this arc of precession. So now you, instead of it going that speed around, you're going to make it go faster. Now once you do that, now you're into a spiral. And then the spiral has a lot of uses. You can induce that spiral by capping the spiral so it won't follow its natural path. And there's a whole lot to this natural path. The gyro wants its way. And if you start messing with it, then it's, you're either going to stop it from being a gyro totally, or you're going to definitely get it off into another realm. And we like that realm. We, we want, we're, we're exploiting that realm. We want to make a motor out of this. We want this thing to be motoring. We want it to spin like it does with the planets. The planets are spinning because of gyroscopic precession that is capped somehow in a solar system or the galactic motions or God sticks his hand on top of it, if you want to believe that, or the aliens do, or whatever way you want to believe that kind of stuff. And uh, I mean, there are a lot of people that think that gyroscopics comes from the ether and that it introduces phenomena in physics that, don't, that we have little troubles with, but we never wanted to go there. And we seem to be one of the very few that really wanted to go into this, into this propulsion. So we have been, we've been powering the procession because we see that that goes into a spiral. Then we also see that can be made into an oscillation. Now you got a cranking action, that for half of the, for some amazing reason, for half of the period, you get motion down, and then the other half it's motion up. Where did that come from? Now you can look at all the geometry and say, okay, this point is moving this way relative to the arm and the bottom point is moving out in a further radius and the other one's going into a closer radius. And you can analyze it and you can get something out as analysis. But the fact is that this gyro will reverse its direction just by passing through two parallel points or you want to call them the equinox points or whatever. Now that oscillation is very powerful in torque. The precessional one, it can be very fast provided you put it in a mechanism like we were just looking at, that linear guided. Because precession in the natural gyroscopic form, it's pretty slow. And that's one of our problems with trying to make a generator out of this thing. Because it is very slow. And it's not powerful. We've already just seen it. We don't have any power in that thing. And even this, the motion here, there's no power there. It's enough to take the weight of the wheel and a cradle and whatever it is and move that along. But if that was too heavy, too much inertia, there's not enough power in that precession. But if you don't, if you stay in the envelope of power that is available, then you get extreme motion. I think 10,000 miles an hour is possible to launch a rocket, maybe even 25,000 miles an hour out of a gyroscopic precession. Guided with the uh, imposed uh, arc allowance, arc motion allowance.